I spent 1 million stubs on Kode Senga, and if he allows more than 3 runs in this video, I'm gonna quick sell him. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to KDJ TV. My name is Kenny, and every Thursday I teach you how to pitch with one of the coolest new pitchers in MLB The Show. This week it's Finest Kode Senga, who you can get from getting 12 wins in a row, or going 12-1, in the current event. When I was asking my Twitch chat who they wanted me to use in this Thursday video, it was basically unanimous, Kode Senga. The problem is, I did not want to get 12 wins in a row at that current time, so I decided to spend the stubs. In this series, this is all about pitching. You don't see any swings I take. You will see every single pitch I throw, however, because it's all about learning how to get outs, strikeouts, groundouts, flyouts, situational pitching, etc. So, if I consider myself this good of a pitcher that I can teach you how to do this, I better pitch well. Three runs or more, we're quick selling this full. Let's go get to the video. All right, everybody, so there is proof. On November 3rd, the year of our Lord Ramon, 2023, at 11.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I spent 999,998 stubs on Kode Senga. I am stupid. Is any pitcher worth a million stubs? No. But Kode Senga is very good. If we're being honest with ourselves, this is an excellent card, and attribute-wise, pitch mix-wise, he's probably a top 10 pitcher in the game. Ultimately, it's just how you pitch with him. Before we talk about anything in terms of how he's built, we have to acknowledge the obvious. Kode Senga's delivery is kind of wonky. It's a little freaky. It's not easy to pick the ball up. The ball just kind of appears. So, that automatically makes him deceptive. And then when you factor in a 98 mile hour four seamer, a really good cutter with a nice differential, a fork ball that's just insane, slider slurve, he's got it all. I'd prefer if we got rid of the slider or slurve for something else. A two seam, a splitter, something. I, I don't know exactly what because it's redundant. I don't need a change up because a fork ball and a change up are pretty similar. He just, he's missing something. When you look at the attribute spread, 103 stamina doesn't matter because stamina is bugged anyway. 125 hits per nine, that's the most it could be. 118k per nine should theoretically help with foul balls, but I know that's a silly thing to say. 125 pitch and clutch is the best. The BB per nine of 85 and the control of 85 are concerning. Those could be things that we have to work around. However, given everything else, I think Kode Senga is pretty damn good. He has no quirks. Kode Senga is not a quirky individual. He is not unique. He is just another run-of-the-mill person. And of course, the goal is to play this in ranked seasons constantly, but because it is a new ranked season, I am expecting a quick quit if we start to hit the ball. But he's also event eligible, so no matter what, I will give you at least six innings of Kode Senga in this video. And if he lets up more than three runs, not three runs, more than three runs, quick salt. Our opponent today is using Aaron Nola. That's an interesting choice with all these new pitchers. All right, let's go do it. All right, everybody, in my opinion, the key to establishing Kode Senga is to make sure we can get that fastball to play up. I know it's already got 96 to 100 velo, but it needs to feel like more than that. So we're going to be utilizing soft stuff early. We're kind of going to pitch backwards, and then that fastball is going to explode. As you see there, very nice slider. A little weak ground out for Mookie Betts. Now, Francisco Lindor kills me. So we're going to jam him inside. Cutter. Strike one. It's deception because of his delivery. It's good pitch placement as well. The fork ball, not a slam job. Ooh, it's tough to control. The fork ball is a little difficult to control, so we're going to have to figure it out. Cut her away. Good spot. And now I think we're going to go above the zone for Seamer. It's Lindor. He's short, and he's out of here. Scripted, baby. Two outs. I'm in love so far with Mr. Senga. Slurve. Let's try it. Bro, what an inning. What a first inning. Kode Senga doesn't want to be quick sold. He wants to stay in the binder forever. We did not have a good first inning. Got a leadoff single, then a double play and a strikeout. So we're going to have to pitch our balls off. We're going to go cutter in again. We're going to be living with this cutter in against lefties until it seems like he's picking up on it. And then we're going to switch it up because we don't want to get predictable. And that was a high fork ball. Not a good spot. Like I said, the fork ball's tough to control. I don't know why. It's not his worst pitch. So, just not a good spot. It's okay. We're going to get a double play here. Fastball away. There we go. He was not expecting that. Now we're going to go to this cutter inside. There we go. Now, let's try the fork ball in the dirt. Please, for the love of God, bury it. It's okay. Good take. 
That's right. fine. We expect some takes on that, but it's just to change the eye level a little bit. Slider. Got him. Absolutely. Kode Senga is filthy. That single is upsetting. He can't pitch a no-hitter anymore, but that's okay. Keep it away. Yep, yep, yep. He's got a lot of uh, lefty sticks in here, huh? Either switch hitters or lefties. Cutter away. That leaked back a little no too ball, much. I think we can get Gorman to chase here. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Two outs. Rail Mudo is going to get a nice cutter away. Okay, he sat back on that. That's good intel. That we're going to be careful with that moving forward because he did sit back on it. Now, I want to go inside cutter. Good miss. Inside. Good miss. I want it to be a strike, but good miss. Um, let's see, let's see. He was late on the cutter, so let's go four-seamer. Late on that as well. Oh, That's just called using right. your noggin. Make him chase the slide piece. Ooh, that got the plate. I didn't want... It was actually a perfectly pinned pitch. I didn't want it to be on the plate. I wanted it to be outside. So now we've lost that opportunity. Four-seam up and in, blow it by him. Or right down the heart of the plate, foul ball. Thank you. Thank goodness. So what I'm noticing is the BB per nine with Senga certainly is a problem. We pinpointed the fact that it could be, and so far I am seeing pitches go where they're not supposed to. And it's not warping. They're just missing. Uh, but that's okay. Two and two. We're going to get out of it right here. Full count. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm petrified. Um, let's try this again. Yes, nice job. He swung a little late on it, got jammed. We're utilizing the cutter a lot. The four seam is very straight, so we have to be careful with it. If I establish the cutter, then the four seam will see like it's a million miles an hour. Wow, I am just missing at the plate. I'm like stuck on all-star and veteran pitch speeds from all the grinding I've just been doing. So we got to catch up. I'm just missing though. The PCI is just a little off. Lead off single, unfortunate. Not a great swing. Um... We're working with traffic again. I mean, it was it missed its spot entirely, I guess. Jimmy Rollins is going to be a tough out. Ooh, that's a great, filthy pitch. Jimmy Rollins, though, we could probably get him to stretch above the zone because he's a tiny little fella. So once we get to two strikes, we'll just we'll just do that. Uh, I want to throw a slurve here. Missing, missing by a lot. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really super comfortable with with Senga right now. I'm just not a fan of this BB per nine. It's simply too low. If we can get him to, to swing and miss here, that'd be cool. Oh. Oh, he did a hit and run. And it didn't go above. Oh, he's out at third, though. He's so out at third. Tag him? Got him. Okay, thank God. He's out at second. Uh, we backpicked him there a little bit. Ends up being a wash. That four-seamer completely missed its destination. It was supposed to be four feet above the zone, and it was not. Mookie Betts is dangerous. We did get him to ground out earlier. But I'm afraid. And if he's... Oh yeah, I was just going to say, if he stole with Nolan Jones, he's going to steal with Jimmy Rollins, too. Okay, we just got to be mindful of this guy on the bases, I guess. That's kind of annoying, but it's par for the course at this point. When you play someone who's played 400 ranked games and only has, like, 240 wins, they definitely do some weird stuff. Uh, I'm going to go to the cutoff man here because I feel like he's going to try to do something silly. No. Okay, nice weak contact. Nice job. There's two outs. Let's keep Jimmy Rollins stranded. Fuck, of course it's... Of course it's Lindor, who's just, like... I don't know. He's like a cheat code. Nice fork ball to start. I wonder if we can go two straight four seamers up. No ball, two strikes. That's one. That's two. Oh my god, it worked. All right. This guy's got no discipline with his short team. We've let him three hits. Not all great ones. One one good one with Jimmy Rollins, but he's pitching okay. All right, we're going to need Senga to keep shoving cuz my god hitting is hard. It's not actually. I'm just I'm horse shit right now at the plate, at least on Hall of Fame. But getting ahead 0-1 is a good start. Let's make it 0-2. Whoo, that was not a good pitch. You have to pucker up every time you throw it with Senga because you don't know where it's going. I guess that's a waste pitch. The, and the fork ball is not deceiving my opponent in the least. Got him. I mean, the four-seam fastball is certainly working. Like I said, we've established all the slow stuff, and I think it makes it seem like that four-seamer is a lot faster. 99 is tough, but it's it's coming in harder. That's a nice, easy ground out to Pete Alonso. Don't sleep on him, by the way, at first base. And now Santana, another player who just kills me. Game in and game out. All the time. Lead, uh, first pitch, strike. I almost said lead off strike. That's not, that's not baseball. That's not how that works. Uh, and we'll just, I mean, keep going to the well here. 
Okay, finally! Oh. Finally! Let's see if this slurve starts at that same place and drops. Got him! Perfect. Good tunnel. Four-seamer starts up here, slurve starts right above here, and then the slurve just drops off the table. We're through four. Scoreless. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta run. So let's see how Kodai, Kodai, Kodak pitches with a lead. I burped, excuse me. We'll take that first pitch strike. And now we'll go to the fork outside. That's the best fork ball we've thrown, and it completely leaked to the middle. In terms of release, that was a perfect release, and it was right in the middle. Uh, I want to go slurve here. I really want to try to see if I can establish this cutter on oh, the no. outside corner to a lefty, but I'm petrified of it because I think it's going to leak, and I think he's going to mesh it. Why are we paused? Please. Please come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on Cody Senga. All right, he's back. Um, rip off the pee, pee tip, maybe? Yep, that'll work. That will certainly work. We got seven strikeouts through four and a third. It's been a little... It's been a little interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, bad pitch. We've let up some, some contact. Pitches have moved not to where I'd like them to. But overall, we're getting outs. I think because he's so unpredictable. Maybe that's helping us here. Um, watch this tunnel. Ready? Four-seamer up and in, off the plate. Okay, perfect spot. And then... This cutter, looking. Oh, it almost worked for me! I had him. I did have him. It just missed. Slider. Bad pitch. Uncompetitive. All right, three and two to uh, Real Muto. We were three and two on him last time as well, I believe. What a bad effing pitch. But eight strikeouts. We're doing it. Nolan Jones got a hit against us last time on a cutter, I believe. So let's stay away from him. Should have said on an inside cutter. It's a good swing. He just missed that. But he's late on it, so hopefully he's going to be late on speed. Okay? We're throwing a lot of first pitch cutters. Next inning, we're not throwing a single first pitch cutter. Okay? Speaking that into existence now, and there's the fork ball. Got him! Nice inning by Senga. Let's go score some more damn runs. All right, we doubled the lead. 2-0. Brian Reynolds solo shot. I said no first pitch cutters, so we're not going to throw a first pitch cutter. Oh, he was late on that. If it was a cutter, he would have timed it right. I'll tell you that much. Um, slider. Get it in. Oh, it's on the plate. Oh, God. That's a bang zone pitch. That's dangerous. And, uh, I mean, we're just going to keep going to this. That was too high. One ball. So let's throw it again, but lower, but still high. That was in the zone, not where I wanted it. And he's got a hit. That was Kode missing his spot. That was Senga just missing his spot. A bad pitch. I wanted that above the zone, and it was right in the very hittable part of the zone. He was still late, of course, but not good. Oh, first pitch cutter said I wouldn't do that. I backed off. See, it becomes such a force of habit. You have to make sure you're not getting into a rhythm. Sequence and pitch selection are so important. We also have to pay attention to Rollins here. So I'm going to slide step. Ah, uh, he didn't take a lead. Yeah, I'm not going to slide step. If I see him take a lead, I'll slide step. Okay, he's paused. Couldn't tell you why. I'd really not want him to quit. I don't want to go play an event game now. Thank you. Okay, slider away. That should get him. Nope. Wow, good eye. He's got a decent eye. My opponent's not bad. Now we go above the zone. Just so high. That was a bad pinpoint input. Uh, let's go with the slurf. Don't hang. God, that was a bad pitch. Senga, he's dangerous, man. I don't... I'm not comfortable using him. I don't enjoy it. We got him. He's out at second. He's so out at second. All right. Caught stealing. That's great. Full count now. Let's focus on Mookie. Slider away. Weak contact. Yes! JP, show me the arm, baby. JP, if you know, you know. In my opinion, he should be your starting shortstop after this content drop, but that's just me. Four-seamer up and away. Not slammable. God, he was late on that, but he's on it. He's just late. Fork ball in. Change the location. What a bad spot. He misses his spots. Let's let this, let this be in the zone. Called strike three. Oh, okay, jammed him. That was also not where I wanted it, but it was a strike. We're through six shutout. Technically, we did not fulfill the mission yet because Senga's staying in this game. But we've gotten at least through six. A quality start if we pulled him has been achieved. All right, we keep rolling with Senga. 72 pitches, so it is getting to the point, oh God, where we have to pay attention to the pitch count and the energy bar. When he gets yellow, he's out of here. He already cannot throw it where I'd like him to. That's a hard out, but an out nonetheless, and I don't care that it was a hard out. I've hit so many good outs this game. I'm kind of getting 
skedaddled a little bit underneath the ball, old ball sack here. So I'm fine with, with letting that happen. Here was a go, four seam outside. That was right in the heart of the plate. Stop missing. Cutter up and in. Let's get it in that corner, please. No ball. Nowhere close. But we'll just blow this by him upstairs. Bad pinpoint. Oh, God. One ball. Kind of like froze right. there. That's okay. It'll happen from time to time. Fork ball. Swing over me. It's there. He's good. Good eye below the plate. He really has not chased down there. Nice spot. All right. He fought that. That was a good spot, though. That's been the height I've been trying to achieve, and I keep missing. But that was good. That was good. All right. Please, for the love of Christ, don't hit this. Yeah, he got it. See, that's why I've been afraid of it. It was worth a shot. We have allowed our first run with Kode Senga, and now it's a 2-1 game. That was a dangerous pitch, and it kind of... It, it, it proved what I've been afraid of the whole time. But I hadn't thrown it yet, so I thought it might be worth giving it a try. Clearly, it was not. Let's jam him in now. He hit the outside pitch. We're going to jam his ass inside. We're going to go cutter again this time. Way in. Okay. All right. Slider, drop off the table. See you later. Nope. He's wisening up. This is going to be Senga's last inning, guys. Yes, okay, good. Two outs. Uh, he's clearly starting to pick up on Senga's tendencies, tendencies uh, that we really can't avoid at this point. Plus, Senga's getting sleepy. He's got 85 pitches, and he's yellow now. So this is this is certainly it for Kode Senga. He did a great job, at least so far. Let's see if we can get out of this with just the one run allowed. And then we can talk about him again, obviously, at the end of the video. All right, early on the fork ball. I'm going to throw it again, but outside now. Stay early. Now he was... Was he still early or late? He was early still. Okay. Um, all right, let's try this. Spots and dots. Last pitch for Kode Senga. He's a strikeout. All right, we've gone to Evan Phillips here. In a perfect world, I think Evan Phillips will actually just get the last six outs. Evan Phillips, this 99 finest, is disgusting. His sinker and, and cutter play so well off each other, as you see right there. I think every Evan Phillips card... Fuck, you could argue his live series card is disgusting. I just think the way the ball comes out of his hand is very deceptive. Now, if you're facing a guess hitter and your opponent... Ah! Oh, it's yellow. Please pick it. Nice job, Pete Alonso. If your opponent sits on a pitch, guesses right, hammers it, of course. I think you're going to face a lot of guess hitters against Evan Phillips with the way the ball comes out of his hand and the pitch mix like I talked about. So you just got to be careful. You just have to be careful. And that is a easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl of a first inning for Evan Phillips. Not a sponsor, by the way. Thank goodness I've pitched well in this game, because I feel like I've hit, like, cat piss. Let's just get Evan Phillips through these three batters, or three outs, and end this. And end this. We'll throw a sinker up and in to either jam or get the call. Here you go. There's the call. One away. Now one away Ooh, now he's gonna be uber patient which just means we're gonna we're gonna spam the strike zone i don't know why he'd pause right here please don't quit with two outs i mean i guess it doesn't matter quit with two outs left it's fine with me uh my opponent has quit as uh not quit paused a handful of times while i'm at the plate and it's been frustrating but look his pause timer keeps keeps going right back up because it never fails so i guess we'll just we'll we'll, we'll take a step back and i'll be back when he's back okay he has returned so we're going to the cutter inside God, that was a bad pitch. Come on, Brian, can we get that? Yes, we can. Love it. Two outs. That ball hung in the air forever. One more out, and we got a nice, easy win that became easier in the last four innings when my offense, you know, woke up. But still a tough offensive game all around. It was it was not fun to hit the ball today. I feel like I squared a bunch of stuff up. Here we go. Slurve. His slurve is really, really good. You just got to be careful it doesn't hang. Uh, I'm going to throw it again, but this time out of the zone. Maybe we get a chase. No, he's... I mean, he's proven the entire game he does not chase that. Good on him. Sinker in. Jam job. Wow, he smoked it, but that's a double. And we don't have to quick sell Senga. Kode Senga goes seven innings, five hits allowed. Ten strikeouts, one earned run on that bomb by Rafael Devers on a pitch I knew was a risk. But sometimes you gotta switch it up and, and take that shot. We were up at the time, 2 nothing, so that's why I knew that risk was something I could take with no runners on base. But still, 
It was not a good pitch. The best part of it all is I don't have to waste a million stubs by quick selling Kode Senga. If you like this video, if you like Kode Senga, if you like this new kind of kind of challenge format where I might have to quick sell the pitcher if it sucks, let me know. I appreciate you guys for making it to the end. Thank you so much. See you next time.